chapter one, and in this chapter we're going to uh, sort of take an overview of what environmental science is and the state of our earth. Uh, we're going to see how it functions and how it interacts with other sciences and, and how um, sort of in important environmental uh, indicators and problems that are occurring uh, on earth. Sort of a general overview. This is going to set the foundation for the rest of the course and so it's a very important chapter. Remember that you need to be taking notes and you'll be turning these notes in the next time I see you which is uh, Wednesday of next week. So here we go. Now, this photo right here is a photo uh, that was taken 3.7 billion miles away from Earth and so in 1977 NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 1 uh, was a space probe that was just going to go into the universe and uh, collect data and, and such. Uh, in 1977 it was launched and in 1990 it was 3.7 billion miles away outside of our solar system, just beyond our solar system, and it took a picture, turned around and took a picture. Uh, and so this little tiny blue dot you can see here right in the center, uh, this blue dot is actually Earth and so um, this little tiny speck in the sky is uh, planet Earth. Carl Sagan uh, talked about it as uh, the pale blue dot and talks a little bit about its how fragile and how uh, small we are in comparison to the universe um, and so we may end up showing, I'll show you that clip in class sometime. Uh, this is the Earth from the Moon, so a photo of the Earth from the Moon to give you a little closer perspective. Now you can see really that it's a blue planet. Uh, and then uh, this is our planet Earth, the famous photo of planet Earth. Uh, planet Earth, we're, this is sort of our focus here, and, and life is abundant on planet Earth. It's really the only known place in the universe uh, that life is abundant that we know of although we do believe that life is um, elsewhere in the universe. And so we're going to talk about the state of the planet and how it's doing, what's the health of the planet. This is very important because uh, the health of other organisms in the planet uh, ensures that humans live a healthy um, existence as well. So environmental science. So important thing about environmental science is that uh, it is a science. We use the scientific method. This is very important to understand. We use the scientific method to investigate the earth and understand uh, sort of the interactions of things and such. So it's a study that looks at the interactions among human systems and those found in nature. And so we're going to see uh, how, you know, we can then, by using the scientific uh, method, determine whether things are going well or whether things are being harmed by our uh, interactions or not. So it's important to understand that environmental science is a science. We use a scientific method. It includes these diff disciplines as well, chemistry, biology, earth science, and physics. An environment is just the sum of conditions surrounding us. And so this can be both living and non-living. The conditions can be quite natural, where humans have had little effect, like we see in this picture right here. Uh, or uh, it can be uh, one that humans have really uh, had an impact on and sort of manipulated, and that's like this uh, picture, excuse my terrible writing trackpad's not that great. Uh, this picture right here where humans have had a huge impact on that environment uh, and we'll talk, actually we will talk about golf courses because uh, golf courses use some, somewhere along the lines of a million gallons of water a day. And so we'll talk about this later. Uh, and so here again, very man-made environment uh, where most things are non-living, although there are living things in this photo. Uh, and then one that's much more natural. And we'll also talk about roads in this course to talk about how it fragments uh, different ecosystems and uh, how that can have an impact. And so uh, when we talk about a system, it's all or any of the interacting components that influenced, uh, are influenced by one another uh, and they exchange energy or materials. And so in this case, we're, we're going to talk a lot about an ecosystem 
and you should have known an ecosystems definition from your biology class, but just in case, here's the definition. It is in a particular location that we're talking about on Earth, and it includes both a biotic and abiotic uh, components interacting together to create that particular system. So we need to distinguish between environmental science, environmental uh, environmentalism, and uh, environmental studies. And so environmentalism is a social movement, and uh, they seek to protect uh, the environment through many means, but lobbying, activism, and then uh, even education. So that's environmentalism. That's different than environmental science where we're using the scientific method. Environmentalist is a person who uh, participates in this movement um, to protect the environment uh, and so uh, it's much, it, in, it is included in environmental science in the sense that an environmental scientist can be an environmentalist, but it's not necessarily the case. So typically when you think of an environmentalist, you're going to think of some hippie-looking guy like this. Uh, however, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the, that. This guy may be uh, well-informed, uh, may know his environmental science, but really what we're looking at in environmentalism and an environmentalist is an activist, one that's participating uh, in uh, the community and society to protect the environment. But it can also be someone like this. This is John Muir. John Muir was an environmentalist uh, and he helped to protect uh, Yosemite National Park. And so he was an environmentalist, well-informed environmentalist. And... Uh, uh, had great concern for the environment, but in a different way than the previous picture, most likely. So environmental studies is different than environmental science, although it includes it. So environmental studies includes environmental science, but environmental science can, plus or minus, it can include or it can exclude law. Uh, it can include or exclude uh, literature include or exclude ethics, politics, and economics. And so environmental studies is much broad, uh, much more broad than environmental science, but it includes all of these things. So it gets, so it gets quite complex uh, as you move to environmental studies because it has to include all these different things in society. And so we'll talk more about this. So uh, this is a very handy figure that your book brings. Uh, here's the environmental science portion, uh, all your sciences on the outside. Here's all these different uh, things, social sciences and humanities. And they all contribute to this broad, uh, broad category, environmental studies. And so what we'll be doing mostly is environmental science. It's AP Environmental Science. And uh, we will include some of environmental studies, uh, but mostly using the scientific method in this class. And so we're going to stop right here. Unfortunately, YouTube only allows me to do 10 minutes at a time. And so uh, I have to break this lecture up into many different parts. And so this is part one. Uh, we'll continue with part two at, on this slide uh, at a later date. And so uh, that's part one of chapter uh, one.